As we get closer and closer to the release of Kingdom Hearts 4, we find ourselves entering some rather unfamiliar territory. Because Donald and Goofy have been with Sora since the very beginning. Whether it be Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, KH2, or the more recent Kingdom Hearts 3, they've always been around him as both loyal and faithful companions, helping, encouraging Sora while always having his back inside and outside of battle. But now, we find ourselves entering a mainline entry where Sora is separate and apart from his friends. So you can bet Donald and Goofy will be turning the worlds apart, even the underworld, looking for any clues as to his whereabouts. But as we already know, traveling to Quadratum is no easy feat. I mean, Sora had to abuse the power of waking while Riku needed the help of Fairy Godmother and three special keys in order to arrive. And as for Streletsia, well, we all know what happened to Streletsia. For her, Quadratum functions as a sort of afterlife. So entering this strange new world, or unreality, as it's been referred to, will take time and some sort of price will have to be paid in order to get there. Kafi here, and like most, I believe our friends Donald and Goofy will do absolutely whatever it takes to find Sora and bring him back home. Although, I'm also of the belief that since it's been shown to be so difficult to enter Quadratum, the two may have to pay the ultimate price, or make a deal with the devil in order to get there. A deal that could cost them their very lives, or their afterlives. Now in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, we see Goofy and Donald searching for a specific someone, hoping that he can help them. Presumably to help them find Sora. Now I had posted a poll asking if people thought that someone was Hades, Lord of the Dead, or if it was someone else, and the majority seemed to think it is indeed Hades. Although. There were some interesting responses, suggesting their search could be for someone else. Someone like Oron, and perhaps they just ran into Hades in the underworld along the way. Which naturally would explain why the two were so scared. But to be honest, now I've started to wonder. It may not really matter in the end who the two were searching for if that blue flame does indeed turn out to be Hades. Because whether they're searching for Oron, Xehanort himself, or any of his Dark Road classmates, it appears their journey leads them right into the clutches of Hades, who has been shown to make deals with our characters several times already throughout the series. And Hades had a pretty large role in the Dark Road finale. We got to experience more and more of the underworld there, so perhaps they're building him up for a much larger role in the future, the same way they've slowly been doing with Maleficent. If it is Hades, who Donald and Goofy both encounter, then we should be fearful for our two friends. Because the only way the two can enter Quadratum is the same as Streletsia, as an afterlife. And who better to help them do so than Hades, Lord of the Dead. He may help them reunite with Sora in some way, but only for a price. A price he will no doubt cash in on when Sora makes his eventual return from on reality. But what do you think? Will Donald and Goofy consider making a deal with Hades if it means entering Quadrata or reuniting with Sora in some way? How far do you think they'd be willing to go in order to save their friend? Just leave a comment down below with your thoughts, your theories on the Disney duo. And if you feel up to it today, maybe even hit like or subscribe. As always, I hope you have yourself a great day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends. And remember, happy gaming.